it on low tube. Today, some more retro goodness. In fact, I got some NES games that we're going to take a look at today. I'm usually not that much of a game collector myself, but this time uh, I got an offer I couldn't refuse. So, it's, this, this should be 21. NES games in total, packed inside of here. And then I bought them for under 200 euros, so less than 10 euros per game. So, uh, I can experience it, right? So, let's get the first bag here. Got two games. First of them is Isolated Warrior, even includes the booklets. As you can see, the label is slightly peeling on the bottom. It is otherwise in good condition. No blemishes I can see on the cartridge. It's also good to see that it comes with the uh, protective pouch here. Or what you want to call it. Here's an official Nintendo one. This is totally rad. label is also slightly peeling in a corner here, otherwise in good condition. Okay, so that's two down. Let's go to the next layer. Again, both of these actually come with the original manual or instruction booklet. This is to the earth. No peeling on the label. This one is in good condition as well. All right. Here we have Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves by Mindscape. Apparently this one is from Spain. No peeling whatsoever on the label. This one is in perfect condition. No blemishes on the cartridge whatsoever. But it hasn't been played a hell of a lot. But looks to be in good order there. I didn't know these would actually come with some uh, actual manuals or whatever. Oh wow, here's something interesting. This I was not expecting this. An actual game genie. Wow. That's super cool. So basically, you put this in the, in the Nintendo, and then you attach your NES game here, and you get all kinds of nice stuff. I actually don't know enough about the game genie because I've never actually owned one. But apparently, we've got everything we need to know in this manual right here. So that's super cool, it's very, very nice. And it also comes with the original Nintendo manual, actually. And it's the original one, it actually contains Dutch as a language, which is cool. My NES doesn't have this anymore. I got my NES, it was actually passed down to me from my brother when uh, I was about five years old or something. That's one of those things, like, it's really tough to get decently priced NES games these days because I'm from the wrong generation. I was born in 1994, so way after the NES uh, was actually phased out already and replaced by the Super Nintendo. But I still grew up with the games that, uh, that were passed down to me, so. Uh, right, so here we have Power Blade. Also, label appears in good condition. This game's from 1991. No peeling on the label at all. Cartridge is in mint condition. And of course, instruction booklet included. And very nice. And what else is in this bag here? This is Tetris. Of course, you can't have an NES collection without Tetris, right? So here it is, again. No peeling on the cartridge at all. Appears in very good condition. 
Let's pick up the instruction booklet. Put that aside as well. And we're off to the next layer. I see one game that I already have. There are two games in here that I already have. Shadow Warriors and uh, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Let's see. Here we have Hook by Ocean. I think this is based on like Captain Hook from Peter Pan, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Peter Pan. Yep. There we go. Again, no peeling label. No major sc scratches or blemishes. One thing is for sure, the, the person that owned this uh, the console and all these games before me was really, really into them. That's for sure. And he really took care of it. Right, so the instruction booklet for Shadow Warriors. For people from the US that are unfamiliar with this title, this is actually Ninja Gaiden, but they couldn't use that title in Europe, so it was renamed Shadow Warriors. So, just so you know. Again, no label peeling. I'll have to actually compare this to the one I already have. One second. There we go. So here is the one that I got in the package, and this is the one I already own. I think actually. Yeah, they're very similar in terms of uh, quality of the label and the cartridge itself. No real major differences there. That's good. I will be selling one of them, obviously, because I have no use for two copies of Shadow Warriors. Let's get to the next set of games. Here we have Gremlins 2. Alright. Let's put that back in there. Here is the part itself. Take a look around it. No peeling on the Label there. Gremlins 2, the new batch. Alright. Cartridge appears in very good condition again. There's a theme starting to emerge here. That is for sure. And here we have Batman the video game. Again, no real peeling on the label there. Very nice. No major scuffs or blemishes on the cartridge. I'll probably have to clean all the uh, connectors on the cartridges though, but that's okay. Alright, here is a separate cart in a box, or in the bag rather. And this is... Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom by Capcom. Alright. Again, label in very good condition, as you can probably tell. Really, really cool to have all these instruction booklets included with them. I never had any of them when the games were passed down to me. They were all long gone. Okay, here is the next set of games. This is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Sony. Again, label is in good condition. It felt a little bit loose. Oh, it's a little bit loose. The connector is wiggling around in there a little bit. This cartridge may have been opened. Eh, I guess I can just pull it apart and see if I can secure it better. But uh, other than that, it appears to be in good condition again. Here is the other duplicate. My brother's duck hunt, obviously. Let's compare it to the one I have. And... So right here is our original copy that came with our NES in 1988 when it was bought new. And here is the other one. Just from the naked eye I can tell this one, the label is slightly worn, it's a bit lighter in, in color than this one, in person. But again, very similar. Let's put those aside. No, we're not done yet. Still got a good couple of games to go. So let's take a look here. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Again, 
condition notebook with like this one. The other one does have them. This is The Adventures of Bayou Willie. That's, that's some nice looking art right there, don't you think? By Konami. No peeling on the label. Perfect's in good shape. Let's go down to the next layer. Seems to be going to show us 2 the arcade game. It does have some peeling, as you can tell. Otherwise, not good shape. No instruction booklet with that one. And here we have, you can probably tell, Terminator 2 with the instruction booklet included. No peeling on the label. Made by LJN. Well, that's going to be something. If anyone has ever watched Angry Video Game Nerd, you know what I'm on about. And I talk about LJN that way. And here we have the Hunt for Red October. No peeling on cartridge. It's in good shape. This one is apparently bought from Germany, from what I can tell. And one more in here. Double Dragon 3. I was surprised at how expensive this game is nowadays, but uh, yeah. Well, these games were basically 9 euros a pop, so I'm very, very happy about that, because that's a good price for all these games, for sure. Some of them are not quite worth that, maybe, and some of them are worth way more, but, you know. Here we have Mega Man 2. Let's see here. Again, good shape. A little bit dirty. I have to clean that up a bit, but that's fine. And here we have Solstice. I think that's how you pronounce that. Again, good shape. No instructions or whatever. And that was the last game. So that is very cool. I think the biggest surprise in all of this was that Game Genie. I really did not expect that to be included here. The original owner of these games did not talk about it at all. So I'm definitely going to try and see if I can have some fun with that. With some of the games that I've never been able to complete properly. Or if I ever run into problems. I'll uh, definitely give this a uh, whirl. Especially Shadow Warriors, that game is absolutely insane. So, let's see if that's actually in here. Let's see, Ninja Gaiden is probably what you would look for. Nope, it's not supported. Neither is Shadow Warriors, I don't think. Nope. It does include, however, Solar Gentleman, I think I saw that. Yeah, Solar Jetman game. Awesome. That's my all-time favorite NES game, and I've played that many, many times. It's good to see that that's supported by the Game Genie. I'm really looking forward to finding out what I can do in that game with the Game Genie. Kind of like Infinite Lives or a new booster or whatever. Infinite uh, Lives, Infinite Ammo, all that good stuff. But yeah, so now I actually have an NES collection of uh, now I think about... Well, I had two duplicates, so that's 19 plus 4 of the out of 23 games. It's not a whole lot, but it's definitely a lot better than 4. <laughs> that's for sure. Because... Show real quick. Because all I have other than that is Super Mario 3 with a ripped, because I was a kid, again, <laughs> a label. And so Kidman, Hunt for the Golden Warpship. And I also have a Kirby game that's currently in the Nintendo itself. But... Uh, yeah, that is a pile of retro goodness right there. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play through all of them to find out if they're any good. Because I have no idea. I'm playing this like it's 1989 or 1990, whatever. And uh, going through them one by one. And uh, see if I like any of them. But it's definitely nice to put on the shelf and uh, enjoy them while I can. Especially for this price. Anyways, I think I've rambled on for long enough. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and overview of these uh, 21 new NES games. Uh, and I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.